A new report released today shows just how many families have been struggling to put food on the table during the pandemic, especially in the Bronx. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis has more on what's being done to help those in need. Without this, some of the families here wouldn't have anything on their plate to eat. Tom Capers joined the line wrapped around the parking lot of the Northeast Bronx YMCA, among residents eager to take home food for Thanksgiving. Daddy looks like a hero. He brought a bird home. Thanks to this holiday food donation extravaganza, a joint effort with City Harvest, Fresh Direct, Bronx native rapper Slick Rick, and elected officials. I think we've got 800 turkeys, so hopefully we can touch each one of those families with a turkey. It's a way for us to say thank you to the community, but now more so than ever, it's needed because you know that people during the pandemic have either lost their jobs or food has been um, expensive and hard to get to. People also picked up food at another giveaway at the West Side Campaign Against Hunger on the Upper West Side. We really need this. This holiday season, we're seeing unprecedented levels of need in the community. And uh, we're set to give out over 7,000 uh, turkeys and holiday meals during the month of November. At this event, Hunger Free America unveiled a new report which found in April 2020, more than 6 million New Yorkers didn't have enough to eat. The nonprofit says thanks to federal aid, that number dropped 56% by this past September. Even with the slight recovery from COVID, there are nearly 3 million people statewide in New York, 2.75 million people in New York who live in homes that can't afford enough food. That report found from 2018 to 2020, one in four Bronx residents experienced food insecurity, and many say the need is still there, which is why events like these are so important. In the Edenwald section of the Bronx, Shenity Angeles, CBS 2 News.